What's up guys? I'm gonna give you guys just a quick tour of my uh, 2014 Neo 7x22 uh, enclosed trailer. I've had a ton of trailers over the years, nothing um, even remotely close to as good as this one. Um, I'll give you guys kind of just a quick show of what I've done to it. Um, highly recommend these easy latch couplers from Demco. Um, these ones you actually don't have to lift up when you put it on the truck. You keep it down, you just drop it on and it clips in really nicely. Um, so eventually once the old one rusted I had to replace it with that one. This one has um, the really nice latches. It was a big selling feature for me with this trailer in particular in comparison to some of the other ones. And I've installed some really bright um, LED lights just to replace the ones that came with it on the outside. And this one's got uh, two fuel doors on the outside as well as upgraded uh, aluminum wheels. Overall, just an awesome, awesome trailer. Same thing on the back, um, upgraded LED light as well. Just really bright at night when you're loading. All right, so a couple of other things that I've done over the last couple of years, you'll notice here, this grab bar off Amazon, it's actually lit up at night and illuminated. And then I just had some uh, stickers that I just put over top. And then this is also a really great feature. So I replaced the uh, original door latch with a keyed um, uh, keypad that you just have a code in order to punch in. Or it also comes with, I'll show you guys here, uh, a remote. So you wanna get in the trailer. You just hit unlock, it beeps, and then uh, you're good to go. I added a small little step bar at the bottom as well just to get up in the trailer. Just coming in here, you'll see my dad's 600R TNT. And then again, really love the, uh, the lighting inside these trailers. I put my um, jerry can on the side here. I've got just an area for some quick access to tools, the helmet cabinet, obviously, and then I put in this v VP Racing um, oil container. Just some storage, full caliber glides, obviously, on both the ramp doors as well. And I've got it wired up with um, a battery so that while it's not connected to the truck, I can run the interior lights as I'm doing right now. You can see how nice and bright that is. Again, fully furnished interior. They've done such a great job on these trailers, especially for, for the money. Um, I know they've gone up over the last couple of years, but when we got this in 2014 from the sled show, um, you know, it was a great deal. And then you get the uh, super high kick panels as well. Um, you know, the LEDs come with it. Uh, vented cap at the top, obviously. Um, I was just, I've been really, really pleased with it. I've not had any issues. The only thing I've had to do is regular maintenance, like the brakes and, and whatnot. Got some uh, Rubbermaid uh, fast track up there to hang all my stuff on there. And then I added this nice little drop down bench, just so when we want to get ready, we can sit down, especially for my pops. Makes everything easy for them. I wired in three uh, um, outlets just so that if I need tools or if I need power inside the trailer, um, it just has a shore power connection which I ran on the outside. So you just plug it in while it's in the driveway or something like that, and that can have power, full full power inside the trailer. All right. So that gives you guys just a quick tour of the Neo 7x22 uh, inline trailer. We squeezed four in here, no problem. We usually keep two in here, but uh, no problem getting four sleds in here. Hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, thanks for watching. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.